super excited for today, guys. Uh, Janelle Compton is here and she will be hosting a training on some additional strategies to generate leads and then also convert them to sales. And uh, she is a real estate broker with CR Elite Realty in Houston, Texas. And she also is a coach and she owns the Profit Builders Academy, right? Where she teaches this stuff. And she agreed to do this training with us today. So we're super happy to have have her here. Welcome, Janelle. Thank you, guys. So I appreciate you guys giving me an opportunity to help you. Um, I want you guys to know that this is going to be um, an interactive class. I like to help people where they have a need. And so I know that um, you guys are getting leads. Um, and I want to know from you guys, are you having more trouble with the lead generation portion of it? Or are you having more trouble with do, what to do with the lead and taking it from um, from meeting them to close? Which one is uh, the perspective that you're having the most uh, problems with or want to learn more about? Good question. I guess I'll start. Um, <clears throat> probably it's a little bit of both. Um, I know we can always adjust along the way. So I would always try to tweak like my scripts when I initially talk to my leads. Um, and just for my personal experience, what I would like have some type of struggle with is um, just getting them from, you know, the lead to like, say, for example, a group chat with my lender to get them pre-qualified. And then even going beyond that, um, as far as, um, you know, so to speak, what would be the best practice to actually meet them face to face? So once you meet them face to face, it, it kind of solidifies that, you know, process from there. Correct. OK, um, what I, one thing, am, am I allowed to share my screen? Absolutely. Yep. Go OK. Ahead. Um, so one of the things that I have uh, de discovered that what most real estate agents are having issues with is that they have the work, they have the lead, but they have very few systems and um, a foundation of their business. So that's exactly where um, this came from. So I'm going to go over the foundation of your business first, and then I'll go into some actual lead generation strategies for you guys. Um, and so one of the things I want you guys to know is why it's important to have systems in your business, because most business owners and even especially real estate agents, they get stuck and they become unproductive because they don't know what to do with the name on the paper. Right. So uh, Sam is helping you guys get a bunch of leads. You got your ads running and now you have this ad, this name on this sheet of paper and you don't know how to take it from that point to get it to the closing table. And how many of you guys really know the sales cycle? If I was to say, what, when you meet a person, what actual cycles do they actually go through before they make a decision? Does anyone know the sales cycle? Um, okay, so that's what's important. So when you first, when a first person first decide to make a decision to purchase anything, they start at interest. So that's the reason why they saw your ad and said, hey, this looks like something that I'm having a problem with or something I'm interested in. So they start there. Now, the bad part for us as agents is where we attack them with solutions at interest stage and they're not ready to make a decision. So they go from interest to consideration, from consideration to actually making a decision and we have to have some type of process in place to stay in front of them from interest until they start making a decision. And that's when we can convert them into a sale. So when you're shooting them, okay, let me sell your house. Let me talk to you. Let's meet. Let's go on this appointment. At interest stage, it's overwhelming because they're not ready for that stage yet. So you guys have to have a process in place to make sure that when you are um, speaking with them, each part of your process uh, uh, meets them at the place in the cycle they're in, right? Mm -hmm. So I just want to stop you there real quick. You know, that's an amazing point you bring up. And we actually have uh, Miguel, our ISA trainer on the call too, which is super cool. And Miguel, uh, you pound that into everyone's head in, in ISA training, meet the lead where they're at, right? Meet the lead where they're at because not yes. everyone's ready to go today. Yeah, treat everybody different. Uh, not every, You can't treat everybody the same. You got to be able to meet them where they're at in the process and add value to the relationship. It's very important. Yeah. 
And so if we, if we did a better study of the cell cycle, we would know exactly what to give them at the right time. So what I did find is a lot of uh, agents, you get the leads and you head off, but you don't have a foundation and you don't have systems that you're kind of using to manage this kind of stuff, right? So today, that's what I'm going to show you, how to set your business up where it speaks to every client at whatever cycle they're in. And you're going to get, um, I'm actually got some QR codes on here. So once you get to the place where I kind of explain this stuff, you can scan these QR codes and they're actual systems that I created to make your business run, okay? So you can use them as your dashboard. Uh, what I did realize is that there are eight, most people who become real estate agents in adult years, they came out of the corporate world. So we try to process entrepreneur business from the corporate mindset. And it's kind of hard because we're used to the job already being created and we're performers instead of creators. So what I did was give you a dashboard to help you understand it from a corporate perspective, but it's your own business. So um, what I want you to know that what systems will allow you to do is it'll give you address the issues in your business. It will help you understand um, how long you're going to be working with this client, how to qualify the lead and how to get them through your process and your routine and continue to stay in it and be interested. Uh, it saves you time, it's going to improve your productivity, and it's going to actually boost your overhead and your, I mean, your, um, your bottom line. So I'm going to, um, these are the main basic systems that you need right here. So does everyone have a pipeline? What do you mean by pipeline there, Janelle? Very good. Okay, so I'll show you a pipeline. Let me... And I'm going to show you what you're going to get today. So um, bear with me. I am going into my emails. Let's go into my drive. Hmm. I'll just go from here. So today you're going to get... Um, at the end of this, you'll get this whole template. This is You'll be able to run your complete business from everything right here. This will be your intake. This will be how you uh, track your business. This is going to give you uh, your services and your guide, and you can design this and brand this for your own business. But this is going to keep you in front of the people for every step of the process to keep them interested in what you're going to do for them. Okay. Um, let me give you, let me pull up your, your tracker that you're going to need. Oh, hold on. I'm going to give that to you, but here's your business bundle right here. All right. So this is where most of us lose. So this is a pipeline. So right here, you're gonna have a sales tracker. I can, when I meet the person, when Sam gives you this list and your leads come in, you literally can put the information in here and it tells you exactly what to do. So it takes you from contract to the keys to whatever case may be. It also has a CRM in here. So it allows you to know, to get in front of them and you have your steps. How did you get the person? What are your next steps? that you need to go through to get it from the day you meet them to how much money. It also evaluates your business. It gives you a checklist. So you know that you need to order an inspection. You need to order a rate on, it gives you all of this. So you'll be able to run your business from this uh, thing that I'm giving y'all today. So I'm gonna give you over a thousand dollars worth of things to run your business. And I'm gonna give them to you for free just for coming out here. You also will get, um, this is your buyer's checklist. This is what your pipeline looks like. So technically, this is a pipeline. You put your, you have the client, you have the address that you're working with, you have your potential business, you have business that you're working on right now. And based on where they are, it has a status sheet. So if you go here and you look at the dashboard, you'll be able to read what your business is doing right now, how much commission you have working right now, how many clients that you have, and where it's coming from the most. This one right here is going to tell you 
um, if you scroll, I think it's this one. No, this is the monthly calendar. Hold on. This one. This one helps you manage your business to see how much money you're spending in your business versus how much money you're making in your business. So a pipeline should have 25 names on it. You should have five A's, 10 B's, and 15 C's. Let me tell you what a, C, a, a is. A, a is a person who you're working with right now. You're actively showing them property and you're getting ready to put them on the contract. A B is a person who says, oh, I got some stuff I need to work on. You met them in consideration stage. They haven't made, got ready to make a decision. They have some stuff. They need to save some money. They need to do some things. You need 10 of those. A C is someone who says, you know what? Next summer, I'm going to buy a house. Or maybe when the kids get out of school, I'll be ready. So they're six months out. That gives you a total business. You know exactly when and where and how much this stuff is worth to you. So you can use this to do that. But you got to know where they are in the process at all times. So you have a pipeline. So you have a process that you do. You have your pre-sale activities. You have your activities that you do during the sale. And then you have your post-sale activities to keep you all going, right? I saw you had a question. Go ahead, Dan. No, you kind of answered it uh, when you went oh. through the ABC. Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay. Um, uh, but you did mention, I, I'll ask another one though. Did, you did mention something that you said you should have 10 of Bs or something like that? 10 Bs, right? Yeah, okay, so got 10 it. 10 Bs, 10 Bs, and 15 Cs. So this is a complete business. It complete, this right here will run your whole business. But I'll show you my pipeline. Can I just ask a quick question? Um, uh -huh. Is this different than your CRM? Like if your CRM has, you know, clients you should be following up with and is your yeah. pipeline different than that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So your pipeline is the worth, your net worth or the health of your business. It allows you to know um, where, how much you're working on and it gives you a goal. So my pipeline, if I have 25 people on my pipeline, I'll never be broke. I got people I'm working with right now. I got people I'm getting ready to work with. And I got people in the future that I'm moving them through my sales funnel to get them to the decision-making stage, if that, if that makes sense. Um, let me go here and let me put in pipeline. So I'll show you an active pipeline that um, I'm working with. So 10, 10, 15, as long as you have your pipeline full of 10 A's, 10 B's, 15 C's, then at least you're, you know you're going to have consistent business, basically. And this, this CRM is just a way to organize that or a spreadsheet mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. It keeps bringing this one up. Hold on. Um, well, I'll bring this one up. I'll show it to you. If you guys like it and you want it, I'll give it to you. Um, I don't like to use a whole bunch of things in my business because it takes a little, it takes a while to fill this up. But for y'all, this would work because you have these leads. So this is a 180 day schedule because you have to understand that the lead has to be contacted at least 33 times on a high power before they'll convert. So you got to be in front of them. I want you to think about your business like you do, the, like Instagram and the internet does you. So you see something that you like, you literally look at it seven times before you buy it. That's the sales science, right? People usually touch something and look at something seven times before they actually make a move. So if you were just to follow this right here on day one, when you got the lead from your ads, you're going to call them and you're going to text them and then you're going to put them on here. So you put their name, you put the lead source, your location, the budget, the property type that they may be looking for, where you got it from and what your next action is. So it's a, it's a drop down menu. You can fill it out, right? On day two, I'm going to send them an email. On day three, I'm going to call and text again. So you're going to say, well, Janelle, what do I do on day four? This thing right here will tell you it has instructions on it. So it tells you exactly what to do on the days that you don't have an action. So you're going to be sending a marketing material. You'll send them um, maybe your newsletter. And you'll say, well, maybe, Janelle, I don't have any of that stuff. Well, that's what's in that bundle that I'm going to send you. You'll have all of the pieces to the pie that you will be able to put on automation and send it out to them to stay in front of them to make a decision. 
But if you're getting up, and most of us do, we wake up and we're like, okay, I'm gonna do this today. But we don't have an exact science to our business. So our conversion rate is low. How many of you guys know what your conversion rate is? Okay. I'm like experimenting right now. Okay. <laughs> my yeah. Last month. yeah. So this is how you keep up with it. You, you, what you need to do is you need a tick sheet. I wish like, I wish I could give y'all all the stuff right now, but it's I only have like an hour. So keep a daily tick sheet. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a new agent or your, or your business is not performing, you're usually going to do, you're usually going to have to make 125 calls to get one client. That's the conversion, right? Your job is to, to perfect your conversation so you can make less and less calls and more and more con conversions. But a new agent usually has to make anywhere between 100 and 125 to 150 contacts before they actually get a sale. After you've been doing it for a while and you have consistent business and a full pipeline, you'll get down to about 75 uh, connections before you actually get a sale. So if you already knew that, you could just wrap your mind around, I need to talk to 125 people every single day. I talk, and that, could not, that doesn't have to be physical conversations. That could be DMs. That could be text messages, that could be email campaigns, or it could be in networking or out in the public, but I need to have 125 conversations every day, which will help me meet my goals. Okay, so you also need a website. Do, most of y'all should have a website. If you're running ads, you have to have them to lead them somewhere. So if you're just running ads and you're taking the ads and you got the piece of paper, but you have nowhere to lead them to, that's going to be hard, a huge part of your conversion. So you want to have um, at least five social media sites that they can visit you on and a business page on Facebook. And you're like, well, why do I need that? Well, the business page took place of the yellow pages. People go to your business page to make sure you're real. Make sure you have a real business. They don't go there to find information out. They mainly want to know, are you good at what you do? And is what you're saying true? Remember, we're meeting people on a piece of paper. They saw an ad, they don't know you from anybody. So you got to introduce yourself real heavy at the front to them to help them know that you do have the solution to their problem. Um, you do need a CRM. I hope everyone has a CRM. Uh, I hope everyone knows what a CRM is, but the CRM takes the place of the mistakes we make as humans. See, as humans, we're going to forget to make a call. We get sick. We, things come up. So we can't keep our business flowing proficiently. But a CRM acts when we don't have to act. So it's like not trading time for money. Your CRM is going to send the email. It's going to send the text. It's going to send out the information that it needs. So you should have a good CRM that sends out text drops, voice drops, and emails. If you don't have one, Lion's Desk is a really good one. It's one of the best ones out there. It's only $25 a month and it does everything I just told you. You should have a marketing plan. You should have some branding. And then your leads is that you already have that because you're getting them from your ads that you're running through Sam. And then a great business is trackable and scalable. So you got to have some type of tracking device. And that's what I just showed you guys. That business manager allows you to track your business so that you know where it's going. And then you need a P&L because most real estate agents don't do their taxes or manage their business. They just go out and perform. So you definitely need um, a P&L. So what do we need in these systems? There's five categories that, you, that all of you guys need to be monitoring and using in your business at all times. These five categories, are you are your um, business management? You need a lead management process. You need a seller process. You need a buyer process, and then you need a financial process. These are the things that you need to handle the leads that you're getting, so they go from on that piece of paper that you have to the closing table. So I know I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to kind of breeze through these for you. Um, but this is what you need for your business management. You need some type of scheduling system because you, you need people to get on your calendar without you having to physically put them on your calendar. So imagine this process. 
I meet you, Dan, on a piece of paper. I got you. You clicked on my ad. You thought you said you were going through a divorce. You, I hit a pain point, and I you you're ready to sell your house. So you clicked on my ad. When you clicked on my ad, I should have something that automatically sends you a link to get on my calendar to speak for me, and also a link that shows you what I do, how I can help you, and some free resources that you can use until we have a conversation with each other. That should happen automatically. That's not something I should have to touch, right? So then you need a time blocking schedule. You need a success list. And a lot of people get stopped right there. They're like, what is a success list? I don't believe in to-do lists. It's a success list. A success list includes a minimum of three things that must get accomplished today that I do the first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna do these top three things that matter in my business every day. That's considered my success list. Um, I need a business plan. Here's all the marketing materials you need. And then you guys, you need a beacon. If you have a social media account, you need a beacon. It's the same thing as like a link tree. Does everyone have one of those or even know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna assume if you need- oh, yeah. well, Okay. So you you need something where people can get all of your services and all of your links. So- um, Beacon, I like it because it allows you to do a lot more things than Linktree, but either one is good. Just depends on which one you want. I can't, I'm a monitor the chat every now and then, but hey, Sam, if you see a question out there, just t just send it to me. Yeah, we'll, we'll do. And also that the Beacon or the, the Linktree, where do you post that link? Is that on your social media or? Yeah, so I'll, I'll go there just in case for the people who didn't, don't have it. Um, have to move y'all down. It's called Beacon AI. I'm an AI for, uh, fanatic, so I like a lot of things AI. Hmm. And all right, so here's mine, right? So what this allows it to do is let me move y'all over here. So you can actually go straight to my website from here. Uh, I host a clubhouse every uh, Wednesday and Thursday from 930 where I give out free coaching. And you can join that from there. You'll see where I'm going next to teach classes. Um, I have a fast money course. You can join my community. You can take a class from me. You can buy my merch. But basically everything about me is right here. So I take that, this beacon that I created and then I take it to Instagram. It might let me log in Instagram here. Um, yeah, so. Jesus, hold on. Okay, so when you go to me, my profile, here it is. You well, this is the wrong one. Let me go back. In my personal beacon, it'll take you can um you can hit that button and it'll take you directly to um my other one. It's just it's hard for me to get on Instagram here, but you post it in your profile right here. And then they'll go, it'll it allow them to do whatever it is that you want them to do. So you need one of those. So here is some systems that you can use for that. So Calendly, Expensify, Follow a Boss. I need to learn how to spell, but that's what that is. Follow a Boss. These systems, just take a screenshot of these. Everything that you need to manage your business is right here. All right. So in order to take care of your sellers, you need a pre-listing uh, set of pre-listing activities that you do. You need a listing presentation. Uh, you need a checklist. You need an open house checklist. You need a contact tracking sheet. You should develop some type of concierge services for yourself. And you need closing checklists and post-closing activities. These are all the things you do with a seller lead right here. That sheet that I told you I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you all of those. So don't worry about it. But 
these are some systems that you can use in your business to help you. So offers is a lead generation system for sellers. It gives you seller leads. It sends out surveys. You can use it. Park Bench will allow you to learn the neighborhood and, and it actually parks your business throughout this community for people to get to know you. So all of these are really good apps for you guys to use um, if you want to manage those leads that you have. This is the buyer process. So I would take I would take a picture of this to make sure you have all of these things. You have pre-qualification activities, you have a, a, a consultation package, you have some type of offer tracking system. I'm gonna give it to you today so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you have a concierge checklist, you have some the the things that you do for pre-closing and post-closing. So all of these things right here will be able to uh, help you run your business and take your lead from the paper to the table. And here's some other systems that you can use to make sure your business is in order. So all of these apps, I took numerous hours of um, actually testing them out, making sure they work and make sure they bring you value before I bring them to you guys. Um, and then for your lead management. So now you have a lead. You need a Trello board. Does anybody on here use Trello? I've used it like a system management. Yes. So I'm going to give each and every one of you this today. So um, let me go to Trello. When you scan one of the QR codes, this, this business management thing is going to pull up. It can be automated. If you follow the instructions on how to automate it, you can send it to my uh, virtual assistant. They'll automate it for you. And it teaches you how to automate it right here yourself and how to use it if you choose not to. But here's everything you do. This is a whole real estate business. So this is that corporate platform that I told you I built for you. So it tells you everything you need to do with each part of the transaction. So here's the initial consultation. It tells you what to do. When you're property searching, it tells you what to do. And then it gives you a, a checklist. So here's a checklist. It goes how the transaction should go from initial consultation to pre-approval process, to property search, to offer negotiation, to inspection and repairs. It does it for everything from tenants to sellers to buyers. And you'll get this, even how to follow up and how to search properties. So when you when I get to that part of the conversation, it's going to be a QR code that you can use. That board is going to come up for you. And it's free. So here's some here. There it is. So I would take a picture and scan this QR code and you'll get it. And then you can share it with your real estate friends if you like. Um, let me give you, these are also some systems that you can use to manage your leads right here. So I would take a picture of these and research them all because the, most of these are going to stack with each other. You're going to need one like HomeBot. HomeBot is a really, really good system that you can use to manage your sales. Um, it's so good. I'll take you there. So let me show you what HomeBot will do. With HomeBot, hold on. So what it does is communicates for your client with your clients. So let's say you just sold a house. You should sign up for this program because it will keep you in front of your clients. If you have a loan officer that you have a relationship with, they usually have HomeBot and you can just ask them to add you to their system and you won't have to pay for it, but it's only $25 a month. But what HomeBot will do is it will teach your client every month what their house is worth. It will get in front of them and show them what their ARV is. The, the estimate value of your home is this. It tells them how much equity they have. It also gives them tips on how to save money and pay the mortgage off early. And it, and it sends them these calculations, these payoffs and all of these things that they can do. It sends it to them on a regular basis, on an automated basis without you having to do it. 
So there's a statistic out there that says 87% of the people who buy a home never hear from their agent again. So literally one of your post-closing activities is to add them to HomeBot and every month they're gonna get this email. So just, and then it gives you an opportunity to follow up with them. So I noticed that you got an email today, Janelle, and it says that even if you just add $300 more to your payment each month, you could pay your house off six months earlier. If you would like some further information about that, I would, be, I would love to help you sit down and have a conversation with you. Your clients will love you for this. And it keeps you in front of them. So even if you got a lead and you, it also will give them tips on if they bought a house, how much money they would save and when would they start doing equity? It does a lot of things for you. So I would do, I would get this system if I were you. So that's one of the systems that's on here. These are some financial things that you need to do to manage your business. So I would take a picture of these to make sure you have every part of this in your business. And then this is the pipeline that I just showed you. So if you scan this one right here, it'll give you a pipeline. So scan this um, business bundle right here. And actually, I think you're recording this, Sam, right? So if they miss it, they'll be able to actually go back with it. Perfect. So yeah, we'll post this in the group. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to teach you how to manage your business for less than $200 a month. So he'll give you guys this right here. This is going to be your accountability partner. It's going to hold you accountable. Um, and it's going to give you a checklist of daily activities that you should be doing on a regular basis. Um, so you don't have to wing it. But here's how to run your business for less than $200 a month. All of these apps right here are usually free or very inexpensive, but a combined amount of these apps will completely run your business and you can do it for less than $200 a month. So a lot of us as agents, especially new agents, don't even know how much we're spending on our business. And we're, we're trying this and we're trying that and we don't know if it's working because we're not tracking it. So you can look into these apps right here and you can run your business for less than $200. And then here are some um, AI apps and tip things that you can use. Most of these are free. So I would take a picture of these so that you can start incorporating these real estate um, apps in your business because they will help you grow. They will also help you stay in front of your clients. So it's like marketing things. And these are some AI apps that all of you guys should be using in your business. So if you're not using ChatGPT right now in your business, it could save you a lot of time. So one of my strongest lead generation activities is if you get the plus version of ChatGPT, it will connect, it will create captions for you. It will create emails for you. It'll create an email sequence for you where you can just send them out to your clients. And if you connect it to Zapier, it'll do it for you. So all of these apps right here are really good to start using in your business. If you don't know how to uh, write captions, ChatGTP Chat will do it for you. Or if you just wanna make your words sound better, you can put it into WordTune and it will take whatever you write and turn it into attractive words. Very cool. Uh, we had a question from Jackie there. She said, where do you find the free Matterport? There is an app, the, whatever that app was, I go back. Um, the Matter, there is an um, app for Matterport. What I would do if I were you is I would put in Matterport, just Google Matter, um, AI free Matterport and it will give it to you. It'll give you a list of AIs. There is, um, these are some more AI systems that you can use. So you can use MailerLite to create your email sequence. If you're trying to find a name of your team or a business and you're just not good at that, you can use name, use name licks. Um, if you're copying people's information, like if you're copying a presentation or whatever the case may be, and you want to make it legal to keep you from being subject to being sued for copyright, you can put it in easy peasy AI and it'll change 20% of it where it won't be actual copywriting. 
for you. Um, automations, Zapier, I, I use uh, Zapier. Calendly is a um, calendar system. And if you're not great at spelling like me, you can use Hemingway and it'll proofread everything that you actually put out there on um, social media. So hopefully these things actually helped you um, to get through a process of where you have a really, really strong foundation. So it's, you're saying, well, where do I start? How do I get this going? So these are some things and some tips that I would give you to get started. I highly suggest that you scan this, I mean, uh, take a screenshot of this because this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick out some of these tasks that you do on a regular basis that needs to save you time. And then you're gonna figure out what research tools and what software you need to use. And you're gonna, all of these manuals and how-to templates and workflow sheets, if you would have scanned those QR code, the work would have been done for you. So I, I created this to save you some time and be able to um, operate your business um, proficiently. So this is what you need to do before you actually get leads. So I know you logged on today because you're like, well, what are some lead generating activities? How do I get more leads? It's really hard for you to get leads without doing this work. So I'm gonna go into the leads here now, but I wanted to start here first because I wanted to show you that once you do get the lead, all of these things need to be set up in order for you to be able to be successful. So now that we are gonna get to the lead generation portion of this, um, as you can tell, I write a lot of classes. So uh, hold on. All right, so in my in lead generation, we have um, several things that you really want to take in consideration. So with, with lead generation, this is your job. If people ask you, what do you do as a real estate agent? This is what you should be doing every single day. I lead generate, I script and role play, I negotiate contracts, I go on appointments and I follow up. So if you're not going on appointments every day, you won't have closings at the end of the month. One thing we have to take consideration is everything that we do today pays us 60 days from now. So you should ask yourself, how many appointments did I go on? How many contracts did I put under, how many people did I put under contract? And how many closings do I have scheduled? If you are not doing something in your business every day, you're not going to be broke today. You'll be broke 30 days from now, 60 days from now. So every day counts. I have to work toward my business every single day. Follow-up is another huge thing that we don't do. So sometimes you go on appointments and clients like, what do you actually do? These are all the things that you bring to the table as a real estate agent that you do. This is how I earn my 3%. So it helps people to have a lot of respect for what you do because I don't just open doors. A lot of people think we get paid a lot of dollars to open doors in the right paper. But in actuality, I do a whole lot more for the 3%. This, this, pa this paper right here will also help you if someone was challenging you about why they should pay you 3%. Well, this is why, because I do all of these things. So here's some lead generation strategies. These are things that you should be doing to lead generate. So we have digital activities and then we have field activities. These are your field activities. You should be doing open houses. You should be networking, door knocking, going to community events. You should have at least two vendor events or opportunities a month. And you should have at least one home buyer seminar online every month. Now, a lot of people are like, well, why do I need to do it online? I'm pretty sure wherever you guys live, there's people that are relocating to that area for a reason. So I live here in Texas. And uh, when Chevron decided to come here to Texas, they sent a bunch of people here to see if they liked it and to where would they live and kind of learn the area. Now, I had my real estate agents in my office doing virtual home buyer seminars because I can reach people. In California, I can reach them in New York. I can reach them everywhere online. 
But if I have a home buyer seminar in my city, the only people I'm going to reach are the people right here. So it's profitable to have online seminars versus just having them in person. Now we have some digital activities that we should be doing. Uh, video is still really, really high on the uh, chart. Uh, leads, LinkedIn uh, leads, Facebook leads, Google ad leads, pay-per-click leads are a really, really great way to lead generate. And I'm sure that's how you guys got with Sam. So that's where you are today. You're getting those leads. Um, virtual tours and social media marketing is huge. You should be on at least five social media platforms. You have, um, and depending on who your target audience is, that's the social media platform that you operate on the most. So I'll give you an example. Um, if my target audience is lawyers and doctors, then I wouldn't operate very much on Instagram, TikTok, um, maybe not even YouTube. My main platform would be LinkedIn because those are professional people and that's the social media platforms that they interact on. So depending on who you're trying to target, that's the one that you're going to interact on the most. Um, you also want to start networking and building relationships. So you should challenge yourself to network a minimum of two hours a day. You should be out in the community and wherever your audience is, you, you are there too. So if your audience is the medical field, then you should be part of all the medical organizations. You should have an app on your phone called Meetup and everywhere they are meeting up, you should be there. A minimum of two hours a day. Uh, open houses is always the quickest way to get in business. Um, if you don't have any open house opportunities at your company, you can always do open houses for for sale by owners and for new home builders. Uh, digital marketing is huge that you're doing, like targeting ads to your target audience is really, really uh, a good lead generation to do. That means you're leveraging your social media and always having a lead magnet for your business. So I have a free cheat sheet that I give all agents, but really it's a lead magnet to send them to me. So ask yourself, what lead magnet can you give? It all goes back to your target audience. If you work with doctors, you can give them a cheat sheet of how to buy a house and use a certain product where their student loans won't be affected, that won't uh, be in consideration to their DTI, and they can buy with no money down. Most people will actually click that because they want to know how to be able to do something like that. So having a lead magnet is really, really huge in your business. Um, figuring out your niche. There's riches in niches. So if you're trying to figure out where your specialty is going to be, these are some of the things that you may want to do. Kind of kind of analyze your demographics. You really, really want to start with your passion. What do you like to do? And people are like, well, I don't know my passion. So I tell them, what are you willing to do for free? Where do you like to help the most? That's usually where your passion lies. Um, identifying your favorite client category. So if you've ever been in the military and you've been a veteran and you know what it feels like and you know the steps it takes and how tough it is to operate outside of the military, then maybe you should become a real estate, I mean, a relocation specialist because you know exactly what they went through and you can help them navigate through that process, especially in the home ownership part of it. So you're offering resources and you have fairs and you have community events and stuff that you do to bring that community together and everyone needs a place to stay. So figure out the veteran uh, process of how to get them a house. Most veterans have 100% disability, which means they pay no property tax. So that's a benefit. So it's really good. It's riches in niches. And these are all of the different niches and categories that you could actually do. So you may want to take a picture of this because um, these are all of things that you can find your way of what you are really interested in. Very cool. A question from Christina. She asked if this presentation will be sent to everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. So I will send this one and the other one to you guys so that you can kind of take it and dissect it down. 
Okay. Amazing. Um, now, I don't usually do that, but I like Sam, so I'm doing it for him. Hey, we appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you are not a heavy lister, there is a such thing as if you list, you last. So um, you definitely need to have some type of market share and presence in the market. And people will say, well, I'm going to start forming my neighborhood because I live there. That is not how we pick a form. There's a formula to everything in real estate. So here's the forming formula that you want to use to make sure that you're putting your marketing dollars in the right place. I, I, I'm breathing through this. And the reason why I'm giving y'all this presentation for you to be able to dissect it down is because this is actually a three-hour presentation that I teach in Texas that they get CE credit for. So I'm cramming about three hours worth of information in about 30 minutes. So, but I want you to know, pay attention to this formula. Even in this presentation, you're gonna find um, what to do next. So now that we have a form, what activities do we do in a form area? The first thing you wanna do is join the HOA as a sponsor. Your HOA is not a big company of bad people who wanna make your life horrible. They're actually your neighbors. They're, the HOA is ran by the neighborhood, is managed by a company. They just collect the fees. But an actual HOA is just your peers or people who live in the neighborhood who got together and you want to be able to bring them value. Um, hosting open houses for for sale by owners and then creating a circle prospecting list. Um, if you don't know what circle prospecting is, I'll run through it really quick. So everyone should circle prospect. So basically we're taking a home and we're gonna circle around it. We're gonna span out five miles and we're gonna call them for one of five reasons. So we're gonna call them and say, or knock on the door, but calling is easier. You're gonna call and say, hey, a house just went on the market in your neighborhood. I'm not quite sure if you understand that when that house sells, it's gonna change the value of your home. Now, if you're interested in having that conversation, I would love to stop by for a 15 minute presentation. I can drop you off some uh, guide some free information and give you the opportunity to figure out what your home is currently worth. That's reason number one. Um, if you're having an open house in an area, you wanna do that same process, call at least a hundred people and say, hey, you know what? I'm having an open house in your area. I have an extra opportunity for you to stop by to, to see what is have to offer just in case you have friends and family who wanna live close to you. And also I, I'm doing, um, um, comparable analysis for all the properties in the neighborhood free of charge if you want to stop by. That's no, reason number two. Uh, reason number three is you actually did sell the house. So now I'm calling them and I say, you know that house around the corner from you on 123 Main Street? When I sold it, I increased the value of your neighborhood $16,000. I'm not sure if you know how much equity you have in your home, but if you would like for me to give you that information, I would love to stop by your house, give you a 15 minute presentation, and hopefully you can use that to help you make some future decisions, right? That's how you get your listings. And then the last reason would be if you were looking for listings and you wanted to call, call retired or tired, we call, we do it two ways, retired or tired, that's what we call them, landlords. So you would research your tax records, you would find all the properties that have a different billing address than they do a mailing address. That's a sign that that's a landlord. And you would call those people and say, hey, how's your tenant going? When is the last time you raised your rent? Did you know that you could be getting $500 more than you're getting right now? If they say, you know what? I hate my tenant. They never pay on time. How about I help you change that into a sale and you can get all of your money at one time instead of getting it once a month? So that's what circle prospect is. That's amazing. And keep in mind, everyone who has an ISA, you can have your ISA do those phone calls for you and make it real easy. Oh, yeah. That that's way easier, right? <laughs> um, and so here's some marketing that you would do in your form area. Um, and here's a script. So if you scan the screen, oh, I'm sorry, I'll go back. If you scan the screen, here's a forming script that you can use to get yourself into the market. I, I put everything on a QR code because it just makes it easier. Um, and 
this is some powerful networking tips that I give um, my agents. So every agent that is at the office, I usually get them to go through my social media class. I mean, my, my lead generation class first, because this helps them get going and get in the market. So I would take a picture of this. Um, this is an exercise that we do. They hate it, but we do it. And I tell them to write a 30 second pitch. So write a four line pitch and get in, go into a strange area where nobody knows you. Get in the elevator and press three. Practice your pitch on yourself. If you get to the third floor and you're still talking, you're talking too much. If you get to the third floor and you have, you've lost, you're finished before the elevator opens, you don't have enough information. And if you don't know what to say, this is what you cover, who I am, who I service, what are my solutions and how to reach me. So my name is Janelle. I help real estate agents who are unable to get productive, get into pro production quickly by giving them systems and models to increase their income at least $50,000 in six months. You got to figure out this way to say those things in your business. And then you use these tips right here. Um, you also want to have a digital business card. You want to get in the habit of asking for the business, sending out a text as soon as you leave the event or wherever you met those people. And the digital business card, if you use hi, hello, it'll automatically put them on your calendar for an appointment. Um, there's a lot of different uh, cars out there. Switch it. I think it does it too. So find you a, a, a platform that you like, but allow it to keep you connected. But don't just go networking to have fun and drink and eat for free. Go to get appointments and come up with a goal before you walk in a room. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to meet five people and I'm going to schedule an appointment. And then you, then you can measure yourself by your activity. Um, one of the major things we have is our phone. It's our database. It's our first job and our first list of clients. You can immediately get in business if you just pick up your phone and tell the people that you already know, love, and trust that you are now a real estate agent and you need their help. So if you want to know what the value of your phone is, I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, hold on. It didn't give you that. I want you to take the number of contacts in your phone and divide them by 12. So if you have 400 contacts in your phone and you divide it by 12, that's how many deals is in your phone. If you take it and give it to your, um, even if you gave it to your ISA, they could turn those amount of deals in people because they already know, love, and trust you. This is what your database should look like. You should have at least 15 to 20 raving fans. These are people that's like, Janelle is the bomb. She's the best productivity coach out there in the world. If you really want to learn something, you better go to her. You need at least 15 to 20 people saying that about you out in the community. This is where your referrals are going to come from. And then you need about 200 plus people who are in your sphere of influence. That's people who are, um, they know you. They already know your name. You've been connected to them some kind of way in the past. And you can call on them for referrals at any time. Now, vendor to vendor is, is hugely important and what's mostly missed in most uh, agents' database. That is their B2B business. So me and Sam, that's a B&B &B relationship, right? Um, your inspectors, your lawn service, your cable people, your solar panel people, um, anybody, housekeepers, general contractors. These are your B2B business. You need at least 100 plus of those. And then you have this category down here at the bottom. That's the potential. That's the not met. So if you remember, you went to a networking event, you met five people. We consider them not met because we haven't put them in our database. We haven't called them and we haven't figured out right now where they are in the market. All we have is a name and a paper and a phone number. I'm sorry. So when we call them and we say, hey, you know, where are you at in the market? Are you currently renting? Are you buying? Are you an investor? Based on their conversation, we move them over to Spear or maybe their insurance agent. So then we move them over to vendor, to the vendor pool. 
but you want to have a database of a thousand people. If you have a database of a thousand people, you will have a seven figure business. And it's not, it's, you don't get there quickly, but you can get there. So if you want to pick up that and do that activity, as soon as we get off this call today, here's a script. It'll get you right in front of everybody in your phone. Um, now, here's some social media strategies. I like to do mind maps. Um, a lot of agents and people don't do it, but there's some, some um, apps out there that you can actually use. And so I mind map all strategies first. So here's a social media strategy. Here's an engagement strategy, a content strategy, and even a posting schedule to make sure that you have a fluent growing social media presence. It's highly imperative that we have an online presence because that's the validity of who we are. People will not do business with us unless they see us all the time. Um, here's some must-have tools that you're, you definitely need in your business. You definitely need some SEO tools, some video tools, some branding tools, uh, some content mapping tools, and some research tools in your business. And now it's time to put a plan together. So who, who do I want to serve? What problems do I solve? And how do I reach them? That's what identifying your target audience and the channels that you're going to use. And then you definitely have to set a goal. So once you've come up with that, now it's time to nurture them. Every one of you need an email sequence. You need at least 10 emails that you're sending out to these people on a regular basis that you're standing in front of them and walking them through from consideration to decision-making. These emails need to answer those questions to make them do business with you. So here's your model. You got pre um, contemplation that means they're like, oh my God, I think I want to do this. They clicked your ad that Sam created for you. Now they're contemplating because you're providing them value. You're giving them these things. You're saying, hey, I can help you do this. I'm telling you where the money is. I'm showing you how to buy for free. I can get you closing costs. And then that's when they start preparing in their mind. Oh yeah, this is something I want to do. So then the conversation starts getting personalized. Their situation in particular, I can help them with. That's when the action starts. They start making moves. They start answering. And now it's time for you to just start maintaining the relationship. Here's your model. So it takes you all the way to closing. And this is where we get. So you have some after sale activities. You have some follow-up activities. I won't necessarily really go all the way through it because you have the systems that I you scanned and you're going to have this presentation. This is definitely enough right here for you to grow. So here's your lead generation workflow. This is where you go step by step. So if you didn't know what to do, here's your step. You're going to do research. You're going to network. You're going to have some online presence. You're going to do some content marketing. You're going to create a lead magnet and then you're going to follow up. And then you just, these are some things that you can do to continually improve yourself. And so hopefully all of this helps you guys. And do you have any questions? Amazing. Thank you, Janelle. That's You're awesome. <laughs> yeah. Something I really resonated with, I think you called it like the seven touch rule, right? Where it's like people need to be, get seven uh, pieces of content or hear from you seven times. In our, in our company, we, we, we coined it the, uh, the seven hour rule, right? Because if someone's watched your content, read your emails, spoken with your team, spoken with you, if they've consumed or thought of you about you for seven hours, they're, you know, it, it, you're taking them from a nine to a 10 to a close instead of like a one to a 10, which is tough when it's a new lead. So that's half the battle, right? Building that trust and rapport. Yeah. I say the same thing about connecting. So I have a five minute connection rule. If I can keep you on the phone for five minutes, you're going to do business with me because most people, when they don't want something or they're not interested, they hang up. So if you can hold a person's attention for five minutes, they're interested. Now your job is to send them through your process so that they go to interest and they will do business with you. It may not be today, but they will do business with you within the next six months. Amazing. That's awesome, Janelle. Well, thank you. Any questions for Janelle? I, 
it won't let me read the chat. So if they're putting them in a the chat, I can't see it. Yep. All right. Well, I hope this helped you guys. Um, now I am going to, I think in, in next month is when Sam will have me back and I'm going to go over some really powerful tools that you guys can use to really, really help you. Um, like I told you, I'm an AI fanatic. So I have dissected that thing down to really be able to have your business 90% automated. So I'm going to show you how to operate your business where all you have to do is go out and get new business. Everything else will be handled on the backside. Wait, I have a question. Okay. Sam? Yep. Oh, it was so wonderful. All of it. I'm driving right now to a listing, but my question is this, I would come on camera, but that might be hazardous to my health. <laughs> So okay. my question is this, do you use a special video app when you're making the videos? Because, you know, you can do the videos on your phone, but sometimes they're so just cheesy and, and not looking good. And it's all about being candid. I totally get that. But is there a special video app that I could use to make it easier? Yep. Um, so I use Video Leap and I use, I'm looking at my, my phone now because I'm, I love video. So hold on. I use in stories and video leap. In story and video leap. Mm -hmm. I use those the most. So with that, just to make it a general, well, just a simple question. So if I'm just going to go shoot a video of my new listing and I want to enhance it, is that what that would, would it take my mediocre and just make it like, Pizzazzy, where I can post it to the YouTube page. Yep. Okay, good. That's what I need to know then. Yep. Fantastic. Thank you so much. You're brilliant. I love all of it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Great question, Miss Mitzi. And also, uh, Janelle, so how can people uh, reach out to you or get more information uh, about your services? Um, so there is a QR code that you can scan, or you can go to my beacon, but there, here, no, oh, that's it. Actually, if you scan this right here too, there's a systems link. So it'll give you all of those systems that I um, gave you. But if you want to connect with me, this is my email address. Um, that's my website. And if you scan that QR code, it will take you there into my community where there is a lot of resources, free things that I give you. There's actually a whole 84 email sequence list for all of the industries that you could think of to be able to use. So if you, I also do free discovery calls. So if you're just wanting a 30 minute discovery call, just to get an idea of how you can perform and structure your business or any of this stuff that you have questions about that I actually giving you today, then you can always get on my schedule and um, schedule a call with. Follow me on so all of my social media sites. I give out information all the time. And again, I do a free coaching call on Clubhouse and um, I do webinars inside of my website. Amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, wait, Sam, I have one more question. I'm so sorry, guys. Just one more question. Is it okay? So I had to restart my Facebook page uh, because it got all messed up. And so I had to restart from scratch my Facebook page for my business. Is there a way to populate my Facebook page so it doesn't look like it's just starting all over again? Is there something I can do to make it look full quicker? Mm. Um, so what I do suggest is that you have um, a branding um, kit do you have a branding kit like do you have a color do you have a pattern do you have things that you're saying on a regular day basis uh somewhat yeah so I really what don't I intend to it just comes out <laughs> so what I would do <laughs> is I would create myself a branding kit and I would put up there about 10 things, like 10 different content, content maps out there. Um, I would put some free stuff out there, like a buyer's guide. Um, I would definitely put in some new listings that's around the area. I would put a link into my blog. And then I would also create a contest for okay, myself. Yeah, that's a good idea. The buyer's guide and other listings. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I would do this. So like I'm, I'm trying to change some stuff around, but I'll show you. Uh, create a contest and get people to follow you and post and you'll be able to um so like this is my new thing so I created this stuff right here and if people will follow me and 
go to all of my social media kind of things. Here's my beacon. It'll give it to them. That free link that they're going to get is going to get them to uh, expand more. So you have to start over. You can grow your audience really, really quick. And then you can just post stuff like this. What I want you to see is the sequence. All of my colors are the same. Everything gotcha. that I do is right. So I can go out and put a whole bunch of content out there. They're not looking at when did the content come. They're looking for consistency. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, that's top of mind awareness. I get that. That's cool. Yep. Perfect. And so you, okay, thank you, you, you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no I like that idea. That's a good idea. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyone else? All righty. Well, I look forward to talking to you guys again in a couple of weeks. And if you need something in the meantime, please reach out to me on my website and, discuss, and schedule a, um, a discovery call and we can have a conversation. Amazing. Thank you, Janelle. You're welcome. Y'all have a great day. Bye, everyone.